Welcome everyone. So what we're looking at today is creating a speak the words set, not a speak the words activity. It is a speak the words set activity. So this one holds more questions than the one that is just speak the words. That is the main difference. And with this activity, you can ask a question and designate an answer and the user has to speak the answer into the microphone and then the feedback will be given. So for example, what planet do we live on? You'd have to click on the button to activate your microphone and speak your answer. This activity works with the Chrome browser, not any other browsers, and you also need a microphone to do it. So what planet do we live on? Earth gives me the right answer. You can also add different languages. It has um, speech recognition for different languages, not just English. So what is the informal word for hello in Russian? Privyet. And it gives me it gives me the feedback and speak the whole phrase the boy walked to school by himself so this is a great activity for language learners pronunciation you can test people's pronunciations you can improve it you can check it let's take a look let's take a look at how we can create this with H5P. Let's get started creating a speak the word set activity using H5P on WordPress. So what you want to do is you want to go to your H5P plugin and you want to add a new activity. And you want to scroll down through the module lists and you want to find the speak the word set here so it's not speak the words but this is a speak the word set click on that and we're gonna add add this module to create this activity we'll call it speak the words set speak the word set and what we have here on the left side that is the number of questions and on the right here we have the boxes for each question so number one we can give this a title let's call it question one question one and the task this is the more important field which is describing what the task is or giving the question to the user so we're gonna create three different questions one for each use case for this activity so the first one is just a basic question answer type of uh, question so for example what planet do we live on what planet do we live on this is the question then we move on to our accepted answers our accepted answers is earth but we we should anticipate that the user might say something a little bit different like planet earth so we add another accepted answer and we say planet earth actually uh, capitalization here doesn't matter so we'll just say earth planet earth or we can also say the the earth so we have three different answers I can't think of any more answers that we can put here so we have our question we have our answer and then if the user gets the question correct what prompt will they see or what message will they see incorrect incorrect question for correct they get correct answer 
So incorrect answer, incorrect answer. You can change those as you wish. For the language, we'll keep that as English for this question because both our questions and answer are in English. For the feedback, we don't want to change anything. So in this score range, you can add different score ranges. So let's say 1 to 50 is a fail. 51 to 60 is a C. So this is how you would create the ranges and then say 60 to 100 is an A. But we don't want to do that. We don't want to assign any ranges. But that's how you would use this. For the text override, you're basically just overriding overriding the messages and the prompts and the buttons that uh, that are there by default in the activity. So start course, your results, your solution, retry. These are all default. You can change them or you can change the whole set to another language. But we're going to leave those. So it's pretty similar to most of the other activities that we created before. Okay, so we have our question one. Let's add another question. So this is question two. Let's call this question two. And for this, for this use case, we're gonna try to do a different language. We're gonna use it to teach a different language. And we can have a question such as this. What is the informal Russian word for hello? What is the informal word, Russian word for hello? And then we have our answer. Our answer will be just one answer, but before we write our answer, we are going to change the language because the user will be speaking Russian to answer this question. We're going to change our language to Russian. And the accepted answer as well, we will have to write in Russian. So the correct answer is Privet. But if we put it in English, it will be read differently by the Russian the Russian um, voice recognition software. So we have to write it, we have to write it in Russian. Okay, so we have our question, our prompt, our answer, and our language. The last question, question three, this is for the last use case. Question three. And this is to learn a language, but to learn English. And more has to do with pronunciation, just a way of using this activity to teach pronunciation or to test pronunciation. And you can have, you can have a prompt like this, speak the following phrase. And then you give a phrase for the user to speak into the microphone and to see how well they hit each word or they speak each word in the sentence and the correct answer here is everything that is in the quotes so the boy walked to school by himself and we only have one answer we don't have any variations so we have one answer Incorrect answer, correct answer, and our language by default is English. If we go back to two, we'll see it's Russian. So we have different language for question two. The rest, the rest of the settings we will leave as they are. Let's check out what we created. Let, we don't want to display toolbars below the content. Let's go up and let's create this activity and let's see what it looks like. So just a reminder that this activity works on Chrome browsers and also you need or the user needs a microphone to do this activity. 
So we have the first prompt and it says what planet do we live on and we know that the, the answer we designated was Earth. So let's try to answer Earth. So it gave me it gave me um, full score. Let me refresh. So I'm gonna try to give an answer that I did not designate. So I'm gonna say the planet Earth. The planet Earth. So I got a zero out of one because I des I didn't designate this as a correct answer. Let's look at show solutions. So with the show solutions, it's pretty cool because it tells you it tells you what you said or what it picked up from what you said. The planet Earth. So it picked it up correctly, but I did not designate it as one of the answers, and it also tells you the correct answers. So this is question one. Look at question two. So question two, what is the informal Russian word for hello? Let me try to say it. Privet. Okay, likes my Russian. Gave me a score. Let me refresh and let me show you what the answers look like when you click show answers on here. I'm just gonna say placebo. So it thought I said something else. It picked up something else that did not match my answer. Um, as you can see, what it picked up and what it showed me as the correct answer are both in Russian. They're not in uh, English. Can't change that because we've set the language as Russian. If I do say an English word here, let me refresh this one more time and let's try this. So I'm going to say an English word here. So it's, it's it's expecting a Russian word. Welcome. Okay, so I see some English words here. Picked up a V instead of a W. Welcome. Okay, so that's what this looks like. And the last one, I think this is the best, uh, the best use for this activity is to have long sentences to be spoken by the uh, user and to check whether they can, they can pass through the, uh, the voice recognition software. So let's try this. Let me say it correctly the first time, see if it picks it up. The boy walked to school by himself. Okay, picked it up, told me that I did it correctly. Let's try it again. This time we'll try to make a mistake. The fox ran to school by himself. No, let's see what it picked up. Okay, the fox ran to school by himself. Fox ran to school by himself. Ran and run. So it picked up pretty much what I said threw it back at me and told me what the correct answer is. Um, I've said this before, but the only problem with this activity right now is that it just gives you a score for the whole sentence. It would be cool if it could just isolate each word and give you a give you a partial score for the sentence. So if I speak eight words out of nine correctly, then you get eight out of nine. That would be cool. But as it is right now, it's it's still pretty good. Let's put this on our website. So what you want to do is you want to copy the short code on the right side here, and you want to put it in a post or a page. So we're going to put it on a post. We'll add a new post. Okay, this is our new post. Let's give it a title, 18, speak, the words set and to add our short code we need to add a new block and this block has to be a short code block so it knows how to read our short code and we can just paste 
our short code into it and then we can publish our post and we can go and view our post okay so we have our activity here what do what planet do we live on earth I get a one I can move to the next question Privet. I get one get to the last question the boy walked to school by himself I get the last question correct and when I'm done I can click on finish and it gives me the results and it also says show solution I can go back and check all the solutions for all of the questions that's basically it this is different from the uh, speak the words only in that you can add more than one question speak the words is just one question this is uh, in this one you can add as many questions as you want but still this is this activity is just one type of question if you wanted to mix it as a part of a bigger test you should add it to a question set or to an interactive workbook where you can add it alongside other type of activities if you have any questions any comments please put them down below otherwise thank you for watching this video and I'll see you next time